if you're looking for the March vlog or my TMI tag video, this isn't it. I'm actually going to be doing a review about this lovely monstrosity. It's a Rustler's Quarter Pounder Flame Grills. And this video, in this video I'm going to be set, I'll tell you, don't eat one. Don't eat one. If you've eaten one before, then I'm very sorry. If you haven't eaten one yet, then I'll save you the trouble and tell you what piece, big piece of shit it is. Um, it basically is made up of, as you can see, I think, hopefully, you can see this, um, two bits of very weak looking, pale, dingy looking bread with some sesame seeds, um, and in between the anemic looking bit of meat, um, which doubtless obviously um, shrinks when it's in the microwave because it ends up with a lot of grease. And I know I'm not going to be, um, I won't be putting this microwave to show you because I don't want to be tra mentally traumatized for this in my life. Um, yeah, so, and also you, you also get some cheese and some relish in this lovely concoction of a, something, something that pretends to be food. It costs about two pounds, one pound ninety nine. So you can get a bit, of, you can get one p change. Aren't you a lucky person? Um, uh, yeah, and to be honest, it is too expensive for something which is literally made up of, of a plastic carton. You can get some nice, you can get better things for less than one pound ninety nine, which tastes better than this. And also the um, the slogan. Um, there was a slogan which went not to taste in seconds, I think it was 60 seconds. Uh, that's wrong, it actually takes a minute and a half. So again, they're lying, but, you know, like because they're evil. Um, yeah, it's, and also it's incredibly high in fat and calories and uh, uh, yeah, the, the ingredients is just a nut. It's, like, it's literally like the new, the new Year's Honours list, but tastes, it but doesn't taste as nice. Um, you've got literally like beef fat, Dextrose, monosodium glutamate, stabilizer, triso trifos I can't even say that. Ammonia caramel. Ugh. Uh, mono de Oh, I'm not going to try and pronounce some of these words. But yeah. Um, and I actually did a bit, a bit, a cheeky bit of research into this brand. Um, and apparently they're very popular with men, right? Because it's no surprise there, really. If you're a man and you want something to eat, then don't eat this because the the fallout from it is just too too astounding to even bother. Um, if you are crazy enough to eat one of these, you do end up getting um, you will end up getting stomach pr problems, um, very unpleasant stomach problems. You'll you'll be very unsociable for a bit because obviously you'll be farting quite a lot. And um, yeah, it's just a bit gross. And I, as I said before, I'm not going to be putting it in the microwave for you because um, it's just disgusting. Um, but um, I know that in 2007 they got involved with a campaign to do with um, university students who, obviously, when they're very drunk, um, need something to eat, and it's safer to use a microwave than to use an oven or a hob. Um, if you do have the responsibility of being, of being a university student who needs to eat a Russell's burger, don't eat it because, I mean, maybe maybe if you're so drunk that you can't see or hear or taste anything and you really need something to soak up all that alcohol you've been consuming, then fine, maybe. But and as I said before, you know, it's a male orientated brand, but you, a girl won't, wouldn't want to sleep with you if you're if you're farting like this if you're farting like some, like a trooper it's just i don't know how these sort of things you know exist it's not even food it's just yeah just a, a warning you know don't eat it as i said before um because you will actually get something which i've now named um burger herpes and it's specifically from these burgers and the the whole f you know the the reaction you'll probably get to it is too severe to even try these food because it's just 
there's not there's not really it's not worth risking your or your bowel or your whatever just to tr eat a bit of this disgusting muck um and also there's if you're if you have that unfortunate um fact of being a bit of uh, having an allergy uh you are caught at her as well because if you're allergic to gluten sesame seeds eggs soya milk and mustard then you're pretty much stuck so uh as i say again don't eat, try this product um because it's gross um and yeah i'm sorry about that this really random video i actually just came with it, with it i came up with it really randomly and i am going to get back to my usual scheduling because I don't eat these sort of things every day, but I just thought that that this disgusting food should be known about and destroyed because if I mean, in, if I open it, I'm going to be unleashing horror and disease and hate and everything, every single negative emotion onto the world. So opening it isn't. There's no point in opening it. But I actually do want to poke it. But I think I'll, I'll um. I'll try and like, you know, stop myself from poking it because the temptation is just, is just too strong. Well, yeah, that's my rant about um, rustlers. Um, I'm not endorsed by them because if I was, I wouldn't be slagging them off. Don't eat them. If you've liked this video, then please give it a like. Um, tell me down in the comments if you've, if you've ever eaten a, rust a rustlers burger and how did you react to it. And finally, subscribe for more videos which aren't like this. Okay, see you soon.